Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the program. <clears throat> uh, today I just want to do a quick video while in quarantine. These, uh, this new toolkit that they found regarding Homo erectus, and it's kind of changing the, uh, the perception of, of their capabilities in terms of intelligence and ingenuity and all that stuff, but also their diversity of, of these uh, different uh, two distinct type of tools that they've used. And it makes sense, right? They're, if you look at where they were, so this is Ethiopia, right next to the Horn of Africa, by the way, which uh, I'll get into later in the, in the video. Considering the environment that they're living in, yeah, I think uh, having a diverse uh, toolkit makes a lot more sense than uh, what we've been given so far, or what we've uh, surmised so far anyway from what we found. And it's very interesting that, again, it's attributed to Homo erectus. Homo erectus is just very, very interesting in general. Um, if you followed my videos in the past, I did, a, uh, I did one regarding some Homo erectus uh, brain cases that they found, or skulls, in Java, which is across the way here, uh, further, uh, further east from Ethiopia. The interesting part about uh, these erectus that they found were their, their brain sizes were a lot bigger than the, the normal erectus, I think like 10% bigger between eight to 10% bigger or something like that. And that's significant, right? And if you are somebody who thinks it makes sense to correlate brain size with intelligence, which I think is a totally valid argument, um, I, I, I understand that viewpoint, then these guys probably were a lot smarter or at least capable as uh, the other erectus that, that they've found. Uh, some of the stone tools that they, that they found ha have a single sharpened edge, while others consist of double-edged designs. So uh, these stone artifacts were dated to about 1.6 to 1.5 million years ago. That's a few hundred thousand years, almost a million years after uh, Homo erectus is thought to have emerged. And I think the oldest date uh, they found erectus somewhere in the Middle East. I think it was, maybe it was Israel. I, I just can't remember right now, but it was somewhere in the Middle East. And I think it was Southern Israel, actually. And they found out that it dated to about 2.25 million years ago, something like that. So the dates are being more and more pushed back. I wouldn't be surprised if Erectus goes back further than that. Uh, it's just, again, it's very interesting because uh, Erectus, from what I mentioned earlier about the stuff they found in Java and even the stuff in China, Erectus, it covered, they covered a lot of ground. And it does make sense that um, Erectus may have been this proto-human or the, the first human from which all the later humans branch from. So like ne uh, Neanderthals, Denisovans, us, uh, Heidelbergensis. Yeah, here's this um, main, this is from, this is a little bit dated because Erectus it should be pushed further back. Um, this is, th right here they have them as like 1.7 or so million years ago. I think it should go further back than that. And you can see they're concurrent with Habilis here and um, another a distant cousin of, of mo uh, modern humans. They also overlap with Erectus here, which we'll get into in a second. And it's inter it's interesting to point out that this hominin is very closely related to Australopithecus. So it would be interesting to see uh, how they overlap here. The ancient hominids called Homo erectus relied on a toolkit that included relatively simple and more complex cutting devices. Excavations at two Ethiopian sites located about 5.7 kilometers apart uncovered partial erectus brain cases alongside two types of stone tools. And they published, uh, what's his name, Celeste Samao of the Nat Center in Spain, uh, published a lot of the stuff in Science Advances, which was, I think, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, about almost two weeks ago now. Some artifacts featured a single sharpened edge, while others consisted of double-edged designs, such as a pear-shaped hand axe. Yeah, so again, they had... I don't know. It depends on who you ask, I guess. Some people would think, oh, wow, big deal. It's it should be expected that they had uh, a more diverse toolkit than just than that just one single edge axe. And yeah, I, I'm with you on that. But if they have this and they're that widespread and they were so successful in living off the earth and, and um, having such far-reaching influ uh, genetic influences that persist to this day, what what made them so successful? And and this just seems to confirm that, yeah, they not only were they, even if it was a little bit smarter, 
even if it, even if this proves very little in terms of their capabilities, that's still a, a positive in the right direction. If you were to hypothesize that the, these guys were way more advanced than we thought, that they had their capabilities were they, they probably had huge capabilities that we can't even fathom. But since it's been two and a half million years since they've since they've been around. Uh, rather, since they allegedly emerged, what what would be left? You know, like w the the Earth shifts so so often in terms of the geological time scale that it could very easily have obscured all these things. That's why it's so hard to find fossils and stuff. But the very fact that we're finding fossils to this day of Erectus after so many millions of years, it's amazing that that we've been able to find this main many after so much time has passed and considering everything that i just mentioned in terms of like the the, the violent history of of the earth in such a short uh, small period of time so um yeah maybe in their heyday there were so many people you know that just that just speaks to the volume the potential volume of their population so one erectus fossil dates to about 1.26 million years ago and the other to between around 1.6 million and 1.5 million. So one's considerably older than the other. These are photos or some images rather of uh, what they found. It, does, it really doesn't look like much, but this is actually huge because this is um, the first direct evidence that, that they were uh, capable of this type of stuff. And a, a ton of, there was a ton of speculation and a lot of suspicion that they were this smart anyway who knows what what they were capable of at, at, just at, an, at just capable of perceiving at an abstract level um this idea of abstract thought is is always underestimated in terms of their abilities but homo erectus could very easily be um clo more closer to us than we than we would imagine initially not just genetically but just in terms of just thinking and intelligence and stuff like that how many fossils and stone tools are really found together, making the new discoveries particularly noteworthy? Uh, homo, African Homo erectus made different types of stone tools over hundreds of thousands of years, apparently selecting implements based on the task at hand or perhaps the quality of rock available. And again, obviously they're being judicious. That's a very, any normal human would do that. That, that, that would occur to them. It makes sense, right? It's just, it's just selecting what's appropriate for the situation. Ethiopian evidence bolsters uh, previous su suggestions stemming from stone tool finds that neither Erectus nor any other hominid made only one kind of stone tool, but fashioned a greater variety of relatively simple and more complex implements than one has been assumed. Yeah, so like I said, there's always some sort of suspicion regarding the types of stone tools that are uh, were fashioned by them. And, and uh, their large brain case, again... This is interesting as well. So the large brain case was uh, thick brow ridges found at the younger Ethiopian site uh, was from, and the other one was a smaller brain case with thin brow ridges unearthed at the older site belonged to an adult female. Again, the, they are separated by a few hundred thousand years, allegedly. I don't, they might have to recalibrate the date. So um, they normally do just because they're so old and, and there could be a minor discrepancy that could end up um, adjusting the dates, the plus or minus for the dates, rather. It'd be interesting to see what the results of other types of dating uh, would would reveal. A recent study found that another extinct distant cousin of modern humans called Paranthropus boise, that's uh, this guy here that I, that I mentioned earlier, they were living at the uh, same time as Homo erectus, and they had hands capable of making stone tools as well. So people looking like this, um, here are some other uh, pictures here. This is Australopithecus uh, boise here, and then this is uh, the one that they found in Tanzania, Tanzania here. Um, so you can see here, the entire genus of Australopithecus, they just stop short here of, of the, um, like the first quarter of the Pleistocene. But I think um, now, that they've li now that they've pushed Homo erectus back, this pushes Australopithecus forward, and then now they overlapped. And now it's being seen that they were using tools as well. So they were in their own Stone Age. Anyway, this is, I think this is pretty interesting to kind of fill in or add a little bit of detail to um, some of the, the ongoing uh, growth 
and the ongoing uh, higher resolution, so to speak, of the picture of, of the past. And it's just interesting to see more and more stuff come out of Ethiopia. Who knows? Maybe they'll find uh, an Erectus that's almost 3 million years old. That would be insane. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video before uh, uh, the end, uh, before Friday's uh, show. So yeah, leave a comment. Um, share anything else that you know about Erectus or what you think about the 800,000 year ago event in which you know there was that divergence from presumably Erectus to um, and to us, Neanderthals and Denisovans and the like. Uh, and any, anyway. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll have a video out before Friday. I don't know. I am in quarantine, but I also am working from home and, and still busy with that. So uh, anyway, um, if I don't see you on the next video, I'll see you on Friday.